this this is again you've you've always you always do a great job with your interpretation of, of Harley Wing and cosplay. Uh, what can you tell us about this cosplay? Um, so this one suited myself. Uh, this little detail. So Harley's got like a little diamond thing. I stole this off a choker because I've been having a lot of trouble finding a metal like diamond. I made one out of Warbler. I, this is the second time I've made this outfit. Uh, the first time I did it, so I've used a, um, it's a four-way stretch vinyl. And the last one I made, I used a four-way stretch vinyl in black and then a two-way stretch vinyl in red. And so one side was stretching more than the other. The uh, makeup tends to rub off on it and you, it gets these permanent like lines on it. So I haven't had that happen in this one yet, which is good because so, it's newer, but you know, Pleather breaks down, even though, you know, vinyl, pleather, all these plastics, the, the fabric, it always breaks down. So you only get so long with these cosplays before you have to make another. I've made like, I want to say five type pleather suits of classic Harley now, because it just everything breaks down. I don't know what to say. Pleather has about like a year or so to it. And as soon as it starts to either get sticky or starts to crack and flake off, that's because the plastic is changing from one form to another form and it is giving off a poisonous gas, which is something to keep in mind. So you don't want to keep that around too long. Oh, wow. um, yeah, you don't think about it. And you know, you have like old pleather shoes or purses or something. As soon as it's getting like tacky or flaky, it's changing forms. And when plastic changes forms, it gives off a gas. So just keep it in mind. Um, yeah, so I made this one recently. I did it off the uh, Amanda Connor version of Harley. I love. I'm gonna hold up the picture again. Wait, oh no, where'd my poster go? Oh, it's over here. I got them to sign it, and I was dressed in this one. That was at a, a Boston Fan Expo a couple of years ago. It was on skates too. Oh yes, I skates. remember that. I remember that. Yeah. yeah, I got a picture with them. I love it. Yes. Where did you uh, get the choker? <laughs> the choker I ordered online. The earrings my sister gave me for my birthday. Nice. These are ordered online. Oh, I made these shorts. Put the down on the <laughs> <laughs> I had to paint my socks and put like, oh, I don't have my shoes on, my buddy slippers on. I had to put the deck of the star on that. I also <laughs> didn't put my knee pads and stuff on. I have knee pads and the shoulder pads of the jacket. Jackets in the other room. But, okay, and that was, was that all ball? Oh, I like this cosplay. It's very livable. It's very like, it's very comfortable. Um, in the winter and stuff, I can put just like white shirt and stuff under it, so that's nice. But it's it's I like this for summer. Like right now, it's kind of warm. It's like eighty degrees in my house, so mm. it's nice. Oh. It's nice to have something <laughs> that's not so hot. <laughs> and <laughs> what do you do? What do you do for for makeup? Uh, for makeup, I put on a powder. I I I'm pretty light, but I just I powdered. So I just did a light powdering. And um, let's, I did a lot for the other stuff though. See the blue, I did. So blue and pink, and that's what's in my hair. I use uh, mascara for the blue and the pink. And I did uh, four things for the lipstick. It was like one color red, black to kind of edge it out. And then another red lip liner that was darker and then a brighter red. Okay. So, Used a little glitter to, to like lighten it up. But I'm not sure what you can see over the zoom and over the just in the lighting in my house and stuff. Hmm. That's the video. <laughs> and what, what would you say <laughs> was, was the most difficult thing about your cosplay? Would you say was it was it actually the 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 outfit or more the makeup? What was the most challenging? The sewing, the sewing of the the um, stretch vinyl. You hmm. it, you got to get a knack for it, and I found. And I'm not sure how good this is for your sewing machine, but this is what I use. I'll put um, petroleum onto the pleather because um, anything pleather, anything like this plastic, it sticks to other plastics. So you're trying to like move it along and around the foot and stuff and it's sticking to your machine. And so it's snagging. So it's not, 
you know, it's it's a friction thing. It's like leather on leather. Like it's it's, it's not moving because they're sticking to each other. The tackiness. Mm. So I put petroleum there, and it it smooths it along. It's a good glide. I did this uh, interesting stitch. I don't know what you can see. There's like it's like a roundy stitch. Hmm. It like it like rounds it. So it's like a round. So like that takes a little skill to use that foot to get it to do the round. Because I I don't know. It's a nicer like round edge rather than like I don't I don't know. You could do like a zigzag edge, I guess. But I liked this round edge. Okay. But you definitely you got to use this exact for for the stretch material. So you also have a YouTube channel. Yeah, so I've been doing uh, this project with Heroes for Hire. We've been reading books for children who you know they're they're stuck at home or a lot of originally it was for kids who were in hospitals and you know they needed some books read. So I'm Harley in these videos. I've read like the beginning of the Wizard of Oz. Like, which is, you know, it's kind of a long book. I don't know if you read it. Um, and I did a uh, beginning of Alice in Wonderland. And then I did some other funny things. I did some shorter ones, like some very little kid ones. I did an ABC book. I did um, a, like a spooky book. So that was fun. I'm thinking about doing another spooky book too, because we have the uh, some of those scary stories, you know, like the, the girl with the spiders who come out of her face, like crazy scary ones too, you know? <laughs> like little kids would read and you're like why do kids have these stories you know the ones that uh, what's it Guillermo del toro just did the uh the movie the scary stories off those books we gotta still right. see that but, uh, yeah so but i have like a lot of little kid books that are very kid friendly you know so it's been a really sweet project and also with um operation birthday rescue we've been doing a lot of happy birthday so i i'll do personal videos for people with that but the ones I put on YouTube are just generic ones and, and they're free to use, you know, if you want Harley Quinn saying happy birthday to your kid, please borrow those, you know, put them up. And if you want a personal one, they can hit me up through the Facebook group, the Operation Birthday Rescue. Excellent. Everyone have a great day.